Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Srinambudrupad. I'm board certified in internal medicine and my practice is OC Integrative Medicine. And today I'm going to talk all about mitochondria. How can we improve the health of our mitochondria? Well, our mitochondria do the best when they're given highest quality fuel. So this means a clean, organic, whole foods diet with lots of colorful fruits and vegetables because that's where you're getting all your antioxidants. You also want to be eating high quality proteins like wild salmon, organic chicken, grass-fed beef, uh, pasture-raised eggs, or if you're vegetarian, then like lentils, nuts, and seeds. Another way to boost your mitochondria is through exercise. So when you exercise, you actually cause your mitochondria to replicate. So this is called mitogenesis. So you're actually making more mitochondria, which is a great thing for energy. One of the most common things I hear from my patients is they're just too tired to exercise. So sometimes you just need to make that initial effort to get going with some light exercise because a little bit of exercise can give you so much more energy and really boost your mitochondria. So that's why I always prioritize exercise. So even as a busy doctor, I always try to wake up early and exercise from 5.30 to 6 every morning because I know that 30 minutes of exercise is going to give me so much more energy throughout the day. So my favorite mitochondrial boosting exercises are aerobics, which I like to do every other day for my cardio. And then on the other days, I do weight training or Pilates. So this is what I've found to boost my mitochondria. So you have to figure out what's your best mitochondrial boosting exercise program. Another way to boost your mitochondria is to do time-restricted eating, which is like intermittent fasting. A lot of people notice their energy is better and their mental sharpness is improved when they're fasting. The reason for this is it allows your mitochondria to focus on cleaning up all the reactive oxygen species that's generated when it's burning fuel. So it's good to give your mitochondria a break and try the time-restricted eating and see if that's right for your body type. So often we say start with 12 hours between dinner and breakfast and gradually increase that time frame to see what's right for you. There's a concept called hormesis, which is a beneficial stress on your body. Basically, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This is studied by Dr. David Sinclair, who's a professor at Harvard University, and he studies anti-aging as well as longevity. So that's where he talks about the intermittent fasting as well as exercise because they help to boost your mitochondrial function, increase mitochondrial number, and can actually even help you live longer. Another great way to improve the health of your mitochondria is by healing and improving your gut microbiome. So we all know about probiotics, which are the good bacteria, and prebiotics, which are the fiber. But now we're gaining a lot of awareness into postbiotics. So postbiotics are the end result when the bacteria in your gut digest the fiber that you eat. So postbiotics, such as short-chain fatty acids and butyrate, are now thought to really strongly influence mitochondrial function in your body. So if you're struggling with chronic fatigue, I like to delve into the gut microbiome to see how we can improve inflammation, your bacterial profile, as well as your postbiotics. There are certain supplements that can boost your mitochondrial function. One of the main ones is CoQ10 or coenzyme Q10. CoQ10 is a type of cofactor or antioxidant that helps the Krebs cycle to generate more ATP. We know that CoQ10 levels typically go down as you get older. So I definitely supplement CoQ10 in all my patients who are on statin cholesterol medications, such as Crestor or Lipitor, and I use 300 milligrams in these cases. I also like to use it in patients who are suffering from chronic headaches, high blood pressure, patients who are suffering from infertility or hormonal problems, and in patients with chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, 
or anyone who's on a lot of prescription medications. Glutathione and vitamin C are also helpful for your mitochondria because they're powerful antioxidants and they help to sweep up all the reactive oxygen species that's generated as a byproduct of the Krebs cycle. My other top supplements for energy are methyl B complex, fish oil, which has the essential omega-3 fatty acids, as well as magnesium. All of these can help your mitochondria do a better job at generating ATP. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure talking all about mitochondria, the energy powerhouses of the cell. Hope you enjoyed the video and please share it with your friends and family. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos coming soon.